Today, we got the surprise drop for Star Wars Tales of the Empire, a six-part anthology series told in the vein of Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, dropping on May the 4th, 2024 on Disney+. Plus. And I couldn't be more excited about this. Not only was it a huge surprise, but as somebody who loves the Star Wars baddies, a complex villain, and just dark side stories in general, this series feels like it's made for me. And I'm really excited to get into the trailer and watch it for the first time and react to it, give my thoughts, speculate, and just get into everything with you. But before we get into it, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Scotty Holiday. I'm a queer creator and a huge Star Wars nerd. So if you're into either one of those things, please consider liking, subscribing, and following me on social media at Scotty Holiday SW for all my latest Star Wars content. Now, let's get into this trailer. Why do you seek Imperial favor? Okay. Are they on the planet where we see Morgan Elsbeth? What is it? Oh, I can't think of the planet name, but the one from The Mandalorian Season 2 where we first meet Morgan Elspeth. Years ago, my people were all but destroyed. I love Morgan Elspeth. I'm so happy to get more of her story. It is that strength. Oh, she I looks so man. good. Offer accepted. Oh, and Thrawn in this, like, Clone Wars Bad Batch animation looks cut. The red text, love it. To present you with an opportunity, Paris. Oh, the fourth sister. She's coming back from Kenobi. That's cool. Just be quick. Uh, but also, Barris Offie, we're finally getting more of her story. Finally, it's been so long. Like since the Clone Wars season five, we've all been wondering. You're not a Jedi anymore. For those purge troopers. Ooh, Morgan Elsbeth with those, like, sickles. That was some cool shit, taking down the droids. I will fulfill my destiny. <gasps> the Grand Inquisitor's back. Oh my god, we haven't seen him since Rebel Season 1. Mercy only breeds defeat. Oh, I kind of miss Jason Isaac's Grand Inquisitor. This is, oh, this is exciting to get him back. But Inquisitor Barris, I don't know how I feel about that. I will help you overcome this weakness. Attack! Interesting, he gave her a green lightsaber. Oh my god, I hope it wasn't Luminara's. I'm going back. It doesn't look like Luminara's. At least not the one that we've seen like from her legacy lightsaber, so I wasn't ready for that trauma. This also means the Fortress Inquisitorious in animation. Oh, it's so fucking exciting. I want better for it after Kenobi. <laughs> I love the Fortress Inquisitorious. You said the Empire would help to change things. Okay, so it is. It is the place from Mando. It looks a lot more lively, so I guess she hadn't really turned it into this horrible shipyard yet. It's going to kill me that I can't remember the planet name. Everything comes at a cost. Oh my god, they even have, like, the mayor guy in this animated version. How cool is that? You just play this, like, one character that basically has no lines in a live-action show, and now you're an animated character in Star Wars? It's the little things. And is that the New Republic that she's talking to? Yeah, I think that's the New Republic, because they're wearing the blue tunics. My world has been burning. Oh no, not more of the Grievous on Dathomir, which means he must have gone to another portion of Dathomir after he attacked Mother Talzin's clan. World has been burning. Oh my god, those like flaming sickle blades. And it's interesting because if we look, these blades aren't the like kind of more neon yellow green that Mother Talzin's night sister flames were. These flames and smoke are that more tealish green like in Ahsoka. I like these little lore connections and I, I guess it just means that they're from another clan. I was a child. You cannot stop what has begun. More fourth sister. I like that she's getting some action too. Who is that Jedi she's fighting? They look like they have locks or something. Is that Morgan Elspeth that's like shooting out that kind of force blast thing going on there in the white? Or could that be like her clan leader? Mother, if you will. 
That's a really interesting shot. It's clearly a part of the droids on Dathomir. Now you must face one final test to join us. Oh no, that's definitely the pit. It is time you meet your new master. Oh no. Oh. Live the Empire. Okay, as much as I like dark side stories, this already feels so tragic. <sighs> I don't want Barris to be an Inquisitor. Is that a hot take? This is not the future I want for her. I guess it fits and we all kind of thought she might be. I even speculated she could be the Inquisitor that eventually became Marok in the Ahsoka series. Which, funny enough, here he is standing with her and the Inquisitor that Ahsoka fights in Tales of the Jedi. I'm excited to see Marok back though because you know he's my boyfriend and I hope his ass is just as big as it was in the Ahsoka series. So I'm glad he's back. It's very interesting that they've got Barriss in this bodysuit that's very reminiscent of like the prison suit that her master Luminara was wearing, or at least her hologram was, in Rebels, and that makes it all the more tragic. And then Vader's gonna be her master. Everybody always said they made a Clone Wars Vader model, so they were gonna see Vader again in this style. Well, here we go. However, how do you think that Vader's gonna react to Barriss? Especially because the last time they saw each other, they were kind of like almost fighting to the death because Barriss framed Ahsoka for the bombing of the Jedi Temple, so I don't know how Barriss is going to react, or if she's going to be able to figure out that Vader is Anakin, but Anakin will, or Vader, will clearly know who Barriss is, and I have a feeling he's going to kill her, and I really don't want that. Barriss looks like she senses something when Vader walks by, so I think she might figure out it's him, and he might have to kill her. She might confront him. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. I'm curious if we're going to see any of the other Inquisitors that we know. You know, we have Trilla, um, the ninth sister, the thirteenth sister is Scat, Reva, the Reva would be pretty young, I guess, still at this point. There's a lot of Inquisitors that we've seen, and I'm curious if we're going to see them, and how much of the Fortress Inquisitorius we're going to see. Damn, though, we're getting Grievous back, we're getting Vader, we're getting the Grand Inquisitor, we're getting Thrawn. <laughs> He's filled, plumped, I love it. I wonder if this Dathomirian girl is going to almost be maybe like a old fling of Morgan Elspeth. And I only say that because in my head, the Night Sisters are queer. <laughs> They're super cool with the queer shit. So she's bisexual, she's a lesbian, she, you know, is pansexual. I'd love for this girl to be like the catalyst for Morgan Elspeth if they were like, you know, lovers. That'd be amazing. Not this making Morgan Elspeth like such a more complex and like a character I have a lot of sympathy for. This logo is sick as fuck. I love that they kind of did almost like the kind of dark sidey flames to burn away Jedi and switch it to Empire. I'm curious why they didn't call it Tales of the Dark Side rather than Tales of the Empire, but this is just looks cool as fuck. Kaladin. Kaladin. That's where they are. So how do you feel about Barris officially becoming an Inquisitor and getting more Morgan Elspeth? Let me know down in the comments below or join my Discord to continue the conversation there. Make sure to follow me on social media at ScottyHolidaySW for all my latest Star Wars content. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, may the Force be with you.